Hockey 605, we're here with Colton Jordan of the Watertown Lakers. Uh, just played your last varsity game, and it was a great one, wasn't it? Not too bad, actually. Uh, the uh, the year didn't go as well as we thought it was going to. In the end, of course, we wanted, you know, who doesn't want first place, but, you know, we had fun at the end there and pulled it together and, and got fifth, so you couldn't ask for more. We had the best group of guys I've ever played with, ever, so it was good to walk out with, with the group of guys that we left with, so... Well, ask for any more, anything more. And you guys did wind up uh, with a win in the end, right? Yeah, we uh, we knew we had to be at Everdeen, and we beat them twice in the season, so it wasn't uh, it wasn't a uh, a problem for us. But mentally, mindset, we had to get there and uh, and ensure that we could pull it through instead of you know losing it at the end. So, and then uh, of course, there's that with less than two seconds left, one more goal, one more goal for dessert, right? Yeah, dished out and. Put it away. So I was I was looking forward to a goal. I wanted to get one my last game of my senior year. So yeah, it was it felt good to get it, especially with a with a buzzer there. So yeah. yeah, it's always kind of sweet when the when the puck goes in the back of the net just as the buzzer goes off. Right, right. It's a good feeling. <laughs> well, and uh, now you have the distinction of being the last last guy on your team to score this year. Right, right. That's always a plus. <laughs> Nobody can ever take that away from you, right? Right. right. So Colton, what are you planning to do after? Well, the season's over now, but what are your, what are your plans? Are you going to be playing juniors? or? No, actually, I go straight into pole vault now. So uh, um, I won the state uh, state title last year for pole vault, and so I'm going for records and state again this year and then probably going on for pole vault for college. Oh, wow. So that's, that's my goal. Where are you looking to go for pole vault? Uh, right now, it's not sure. It depends on it depends on my season this year for heights that I'll be jumping, and uh, you know, looking at USD and NDSU at the minute. Ah, they both have great programs, and I, I imagine that pole vaulting has come in handy to help you avoid a few collisions on the ice. <laughs> right, it's a different <laughs> mindset, though. It's it's a lot calmer than say hockey. You know, hockey's uh, it's a lot more in your face than pole vault. <laughs> it's pole vault's pretty calm, so it's it's different to go from hockey straight into. The pole vault, it's, it's, it's a different change, that's for well, sure. Well, yeah. Nobody's trying to stop you from j jumping over that pole, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't hit anybody. You, you, well, you probably can, but it probably wouldn't help you. Yeah, yeah, it wouldn't look good. No. <laughs> well, we appreciate you taking some time with us at Hockey 605. And enjoyed getting to know you, and good luck with that pole vault season. Yeah, thank you. Um, and if you do keep on playing hockey somewhere, let us know. All right, I will. Thank All you. Right. Thanks.